Math three, unit nine, section five. Today we're talking about cross section problems. What is a cross section? It's basically taking a two dimensional shape from slicing a three dimensional figure. And we watched some videos on this today. If you have your resource page, you can always go back and watch some of those exciting videos again. They're right there at your fingertips. Um, so here you can see we have a cylinder. And if you take a slice from the cylinder, it is going to have a cross section of a circle. Okay, if you take it down through the middle, you'll notice that that cross section is a, a rectangle. Very good. Okay, so figure A right here. Um, this is half of a sphere, which is actually called, does anyone know? Starts with an H. Hemisphere, very good. Okay, so you want to think about these shapes, and what they've asked us to do is to draw and describe the cross section um, formed by the indicated slice of the figures below. So, if you think about a half circle or a like dome shaped figure, which in fact, if you look at like Caitlin's lid on your cup, there is a hemisphere. Okay, and so on this A slice, if you were to slice through it, what's going to happen? Do you think? Is it what shape will it make? What two-dimensional shape will it make? Very good, a circle. And um, if you can draw a circle there with it, so we're labeling or writing what it is and drawing a picture of it. Okay, B, what do you think is gonna happen when you slice through it that way? What's it gonna make? I heard it, a semicircle or a half circle. So it will look something kind of like this if you cut through this way, okay? So we can call that a half circle or a semicircle. Okay, over here, does anybody know what this is called? A trapezoidal prism, okay. <clears throat> so this one shape, if you can't tell, but we're basically slicing off just a piece of the bottom. What shape will that make? Very good. A rectangle is correct. Okay, and then on B, it's slicing, you know, through the middle kind of here. And so that would end up making a trapezoid. Questions? Okay. We have a football. Okay, so on A, when it's slicing through the football, what shape will that make? Yeah, the A figure, it's actually going to be a circle. Um, I guess it depends on the football. It could be an ellipse. Um, we're going to call it a circle for right now. Um, but on B, that would make um, an ellipse, which have, how many of you have not heard the word ellipse before? Okay, so an ellipse is basically an oval. Um, an ellipse is just, um, it's more mathematical. You'll have to look up the definition. But an oval is basically not um, mathematical. It means that it couldn't be all the same size. like an egg is oval, you know how like it's not all perfect? Does that make sense? So where an oval is not perfect, an ellipse is perfect. So it looks similar to an oval, but it's mathematically perfect. Okay, is that kind of making sense? Okay, um, all right. Here they have asked us to draw and describe the solid revolution form by rotating a quarter sized circle about the indicated axis of revolution. So this says it's going to rotate about the x-axis. So this is our x-axis, correct? Yes? Okay. So if we were to take this two-dimensional shape right here and we start rotating it, we're going to rotate it and make it a three-dimensional shape. Okay? So think about this now. It's going to come over and flip to the other side of the x-axis. 
Okay, and so I'm gonna kind of try to draw it here. So when it's rotated across the x-axis, it's gonna go down and look like that. Can you guys kind of visually see that happening? If you're ever unsure, you could like cut out a piece of paper that matches that and then flip it to kind of see what's happening, okay? Um, so this will end up as it's rotating, you know, this is gonna come out and around. And what would it end up making? It's gonna make, um, in, in, 3D, in 3D shapes, what would it make? A hemisphere, right? Because it's half of a circle. Would you guys agree? That this is only gonna make half, it's gonna make like her lid on her cup when it's going around? Yes? Okay, so this will end up making a hemisphere. Okay, and then we can see what it looks like right here. It's just not in 3D, but you guys can think about 3D. Okay, now if it goes about the y-axis, okay, so see how this is at three? If we're flipping it over the y-axis, it's gonna go, this line right here at three is gonna go over here to three, okay? And this shape will kinda end up going down. And if you think about this as it's rotating, what kind of figure is it going to make? So don't think about the, this piece inside right now. Think about just the outside. So as this goes around, if you have this and it's flipping around and around, what is it gonna make? And think in terms of 3D. Not sure. It's like a circle. It's gonna end up making like a cylinder. Think about a cylinder, right? Okay, and you have this piece. Um, and so as this goes around, it's gonna keep flipping and you're gonna end up making a cylinder. Okay, and the, it's gonna be a cylinder on the outside. And then if you notice in here, um, it's with a cone like shape as a hole in the middle. So I'm gonna kind of try to draw a picture for you, but um, it's gonna look kind of like kind of like that. Ish. I know you guys are impressed. It's good. Okay. Um, for each of the following solids, draw the two-dimensional shape that would be revolved about the indicated axis to generate this solid. So, we have a watermelon. What two-dimensional shape would need to be turned in order to make that? Yeah, half of an ellipse, right? So if we were to just draw something kind of like this, if that were to rotate, it would make that three-dimensional figure of a watermelon. So half of an ellipse. And also, I mean, since watermelons aren't exact, it could actually be an oval, but we're just gonna stick with ellipse for now, okay? Okay, so now we have this tree. It's not an actual shape. All we would do is draw, and notice here they're doing the y-axis. Um, you're just gonna draw a picture, or try to, like me. I always just try my best. Um, but that's the figure, that's my figure that I would rotate. That would make that tree. Okay, so half of a two-dimensional tree. I don't really appreciate the laughing that's happening right now. Uh, okay. I'm sure some of you can do something much better than that. All right. Are there any questions?